So I've I've had can. Uh, I don't think I was like congenital heart disease for a while, but as as of last year, it got worse to a point where I couldn't do a lot of things. Alex had a congestive heart failure for a while, and it got worse last year. It came out that he had to have a heart transplant. So we decided with doctors to transfer him to Yale New Haven Hospital. We met Alex about a year ago. He presented to an outside hospital uh, with significant respiratory distress. And when further tests were done, he was uh, ultimately diagnosed with very severe heart failure. When I was first introduced to Alex, it was through Dr. Hall. And when I met Alex and his mother, uh, I was struck with how brave he was and how he was approaching this uh, as an adult, even though he wasn't. Dr. Hall and the team had presented myself and my surgical team with all the details and determined with Dr. Hall and his team that it was time for Alex to get a transplant. We ultimately spoke with the family about heart transplantation. And this is something that we're able to uh, offer families when ultimately the best uh, medicines and the best efforts that we have come to, to fail. And I cried like a baby. I I'm thinking that's death for my son. And he's like, no, they do good. Um, heart transplant um, recipients come out doing good. And he just was with me through the whole thing. And I just thought that was really, really nice. We listed him for heart transplant. And over the course of um, about two months, he waited for a heart. And the first organ that was offered was not optimal. And the second organ that was offered was not optimal. He told Dr. Hall, he said, I can't take this no more. You promised me a heart, and we've been here almost two months, and I can't take this no more. Just when they, they reached a moment that they were you know, very worried and, and at their lowest, a, a wonderful uh, donor organ became available. Dr. Hall called me on the phone, and he said, we got a heart, Mrs. Rodriguez, we got a heart. And all the nurses in the um, ICU, we all cried, they cried. It's just something felt really good, but then sad at the same time, because, you know, we know where it comes from, but we were blessed to get it. Generally takes a few hours to do the operation. When Alex went back to the intensive care unit, we were relieved that the heart was working well. The ICU team took over. I was one of the nurses in the pediatric cardiac ICU that helped take care of Alex after his um, heart transplant surgery. Alex was a really sweet kid. He was really easy to talk to. He had an uncomplicated um, recovery, um, and he really did well. The nurses in the ICU were awesome. The doctors, everybody, they're all awesome. Alex does require lifelong treatment now. Uh, and we've been able to uh, see him twice weekly and now thankfully just weekly at the pediatric uh, specialty centers uh, here in New Haven. The day I got out, I left the hospital till now. I've been feeling, I, I feel like my old self. He can't play football. Just yet. Just yet, but he can do everything else. He does, he's back to normal. There are not many pediatric hospitals that can offer heart transplantation to children in need but it's been our uh, honor and our delight to be able to offer this gift of life to Alex. And we look forward to seeing all the wonderful things uh, that he's going to do. Yale New Haven Children's Hospital, they saved my son's life.